Good morning, everybody from Amsterdam. I'm Ian Robertson. This is our son, Ren. We Hi. are representing Melody Festival Club here in Amsterdam. Sadly, both our flights here got in late last night. So we weren't able to get to the arena for any of the final of the jury results. We read some reports, had a look through, and hopefully give our analysis and our predictions now of who's going to win the contest. We'll play a little bit of the songs again, and then we'll go through and discuss. Song number one is from Belarus. You like this one? I like the chorus. I'm a sucker for cheesy choruses. It's, it's very junior Eurovision. It's something that's going to do well, I think, across um, Eastern European countries. Would you vote for it? I don't know that I would. I, I don't dance to it. I don't think enough people got to vote for it. It is a good show up. I it's going to get going excited. I think it's going to get points and juries. It was perfectly fine last night from what I've heard. I don't think it's going to get any 12s. Belarus do very well in junior Eurovision. They will do very well again, but very well this has probably got to be mid table. It's not going to be a winner and it's a big difference. I would agree with that. Right, let's go some two. Sweden. Drawn number second, quite ironically. Drawn. Uh, Miss Maud Lover is a lovely, lovely girl interview as well. I'm hoping we get to meet her today. Now, I was talking to some of my children I teach yesterday, mm -hmm. and they said, What's it like? Imagine a 14 year old and a girl involved, and you kind of got it. And I didn't go, didn't you, very well in Eurovision? She didn't, no. Um, There's a chance that this song could sound a little boring compared with the others, but I think being in second place is probably reasonably good for it, because you've not had loads of up-tempo songs and then one slow song which brings you down. I don't know where to put this. In the first video, I put this between 4th and 11th. I'm going to have to keep the same prediction on it, because I just don't know what these juries and professors are looking for, because it's... it's a decent song its own right, and Lover's possible songwriter for the future, definitely. Um, Is it well produced on stage? They've got two girls behind Lover. I would change it. I would change the backing vocals a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but it has the right mood. The dress, the lovely, lovely little dress they've got on. It's... Oh, Jeremy's could be the point. Yeah. Reverend Bell was it would be some. This could do really well. Um, I really don't know. Ballads never win the contest. No. Ballads do well. This is the only ballad this year. It could cut the Ukraine a bit, but it's got some weird dubby bits going through as well. Um, Belarus was third last year. I think Serbia was third year before that, so at least very high. We'd be asking a lot. It wouldn't be impossible. Okay. Alright, well, next after that is debut Azerbaijan. This is looking good on stage. Okay. They've got a great Azerbaijan making a debut. They've thrown everything at it. It looks good. They've got a DJ behind there, and it, it's kind of working. Um, they're hitting all the choreography. It's much bigger than Sweden in that sense. So it doesn't for it? do much for me, I must say. No, and it is. It's a warm up to the next one, I think, at least for the home fans here. Mm -hmm. um, but Azerbaijan always do well. Yes. I don't say any more than that on that one, really. It's going to be very interesting <laughs> to see. Um, I think let's go now to the next song, which is song number four, which therefore means it's going to be, I should know, Belgium! Belgium! This is <laughs> He is going very well in the world. Yeah. Big crowd are going to be a little bit. He's on the catwalk. My little concern for it, I guess, with what they're doing is how they're going to act it all out. They've got some magic tricks on stage. I have it out, but, of course. Um, and they've got fun on stage, and those girls are doing magic and dancing, and there's a lot going on. It could be really fun, but it could also look a bit messy in the camera shots. You don't think it's a winner? Um, 
I think it's a dark horse. Okay. I really, really think that simple enough to get the votes, despite being on their own, does and everyone's doing very, very really well. Mm -hmm. And a little part of me would not be surprised. I expect Belgium to be in the top four. Okay. However, this is the favourite. It's from Russia. I would dare argue this in sector of Eurovision. Just thinking the same thing. Could, well, it's Russia, it would do very well. But yes. But could arguably have done as well as Russia did this year almost. Yeah. It is that infectious. Larry was there doing Moldova's junior entry last year. Much bigger production now, much better stage presence. She is at home here. She can nail the vocals. It's as slick as you want. If you want a slick 21st century Schlager song to win Junior Eurovision, <laughs> Russia's got it. And it's interesting to see that all the uh, Swedish delegations are their favourites. Okay. Um, I'm expecting 12 points. I could potentially vote for this. I, so. I would expect to. It is the worthy favourite. After that, Israel, another debut. You said that people have been getting excited about this. It's, it's doing well. It's very Israel. It's got a lot of photography and dance movement to it. And it's very secure in that. I was worried about the vocals of all six of them and the harmonies, but it seems to be coming out okay. I don't know if it's an audience for this type of music anymore. I think it's dated. Uh -huh. But then it's junior Eurovision. Um, Do you think it'll be the mums or the kids that vote for this one? I don't see anybody voting for it. <laughs> but I see why it's popular. Yeah. Um, I really don't know. I want to put it near the bottom, but I probably won't put it in the top. And I'm like, well, I can see why you're saying it, but I just think it's going to be everything's pleasant enough one. I think Russia just stole the show yeah. at that point in, in the running order. However, Israel is blessed with what comes after, I would say. I feel so sorry for our lovely Albanian infant. But Isidora is on stage by herself. Mm -hmm. There's big instrumentals. She been asked to change her dress by EBU because it was not appropriate for the ethical standards of junior Eurovision. And she has actually the worst song in Eurovision history. <laughs> I said in my first prediction it should be tight in 14 points. Yeah. One from I mean, you know, one from Azerbaijan and then twelve from the rest. If it, I know there's only twelve countries in this, but I, I really don't see an appeal for this outside of the Valley ended. No, you don't see ended. other countries voting for this. No. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We'll be very happy if you do. Sorry. Someone has you didn't, to come last. Yes, and we just come last. Even if you get, Even 12, if you get 12 points, yeah. <laughs> right, next is Armenia. It's unique for the contest. And if you want real kids doing real kids with written dishes, it's not written it kind of music. It does sound like they've written it. Yes, it does, and that fake or not authenticity to it, I think could work quite well. And there are juries voting in this. Um, I think they've been solid enough, fine vocally, it fits a bit grab. Um, I saw a very good point as to try to do like a, a major key pop song in the mind that I mean in key. Mm. And it sounds odd to us, but it sounds odd to Russia, Georgia. And exactly, stuff. yeah. Um, top half. Top half, okay. Top half. This is Ukraine. I never rated Ukraine when I first heard it. It's looking good and this is powerful. It reminds me, now I've seen it, of Sweet People. Okay. It's that kind of feel they've got going on here and she is a huge voice. How's it being presented on stage? I just heard it. Got rid of the back and dance. Okay. Um, and she's coming out barefoot, beautiful dress. The production puts me off. I don't understand the mood of it. It's, they've kind of obviously put these 
21st century beats, and you've heard Timothée's album, they've put fast. You can see this. You can talk about. Yes. They've put all these extra beats in there, and with the folkness, and it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work, and for me. It's on the wrong side of this as a musical production quality for a junior or a vision contest. But it's impressive. Ukraine won't be near the bottom, but I don't see it's up there with what's coming next. Georgia, Funky Lemonade, Funky, the kings of junior or vision. Georgia are the experts in this. It's and a very fun song. This is typical, and they are are expected. Brilliant on <laughs> stage. Brilliant. Um, it's got a challenge for sure. Okay. If it's going to get above it, I don't know, but that's the second favourite. Okay. It's those two all the way. Moldova comes next. That's English. Yeah. How much it matters to non English people, I don't yeah. know. But um, although we've been amused here in the Netherlands already by the uh, English accents that we hear. We around. have, yes. Um, I like that song. It's a nice song. But you would vote for Russia. But I would vote for Russia. And that's the problem. It's going to get the sixes and sevens from Eastern Europe. It's not going to get the tens and twelves. Not very challenge. Mm-hmm. It will finish seven. Netherlands drawn to go last in the winning order. And they picked the wrong song. Hit the ball, hit it again. This could actually be really bad. There's nothing wrong with them to the top of voice is smashing, but I don't see an audience for this anywhere. I think this is more akin to their result clears with that song uh, My Family and they are the best at this never wanted to try really hard in junior Eurovision. I'm very happy to see Rachel, who was second last year, is going to see you for the open the show tonight. Um, but yeah. Tenth the Yeah. It doesn't really stand out, does it? No. Um, go big in the hall, of course, though. Yeah. That's a, really, a good way to end the show. Russia. Oh. I wanted to say Russia to win, but at the same time, I think you might be thinking, though, you're it's too good for Junior. <laughs> and I vote for too slick. Junior. Too slick. Yeah. Um, you for anything else up there? I would say Russia, Georgia, Belgium is free to watch tonight. No. That's probably fair enough. Yeah. You're going to disagree with me. I'm not going to disagree with you, no. Okay, would well, you have said those three? Probably. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> right, so. We're obviously in our hotel room overlooking West Amsterdam at the moment. It's an all right day. Uh, it's we'll, grey. We will strike it out at the press centre at some point before the show. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, good. We're about maybe half an hour away from that yeah. at the moment. Um, and I'll be doing a show for ESD Insights, which will go in line after the contest. So I'll be away for a bit in the afternoon. But absolutely, fingers crossed we can get some stuff done. And uh, I don't know, actually, if there's only one ballad in there, mm. <laughs> I, I'm I'm very proud of our Swedish entry. So uh, fingers crossed, it's it's coming out okay. And I say, hello, but he's doing really good. That's rain. Mm. That is rain, definitely. Oh. <laughs> Well, less sightseeing, uh, more time in the press centre. At least it's um, a little bit not like the theme for this year. Break the ice. Yeah. If it was in Stockholm, it would be break the ice. It could be very cold this weekend there, but uh, it's uh, just pouring with rain. Break through sunlight, please. I think Amsterdam at the moment. Uh-huh. Um, have a lovely day, guys. Um, Och der er på barnkanalen. Ik wil Wat over koe, om de wil te doen. Ja? Ja. Oké. Zet alle. Hero. Ja,